Hi, my name is Ka, and welcome to Pitch Points. This is my football fan channel where I think about all things football, Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, the UEFA Champions League, the Europa League, and the US Major League Soccer, and most things Man City because I'm a Man City fan. So to get more news, more information, more insights, more debate, more discussion, subscribe to my channel and be part of the Pitch Points family. So let's start off with this weekend in, in Spain, in La Liga, where we had two giants, Real Madrid and Atletico de Madrid, playing for essentially second spot because Barcelona, I believe, was still, still going to win it. What an amazing game. 3-1 uh, to Real Madrid, displaying again their two championship, championship form. Looks like they're beginning to get momentum and begin to show that form of being the champions. 3-1 uh, to them. Uh, one penalty by Sergio Ramos always comes up with the penalty. I think he's probably the second highest goal scorer right now in the, in the league for Real Madrid based on penalties and other goals. Uh, a goal that was disallowed for Morata. Fantastic lob over the keeper. Disallowed. Even VAR got it wrong, in my opinion. And then a fantastic goal by, by Griezmann. I mean, literally just on the line, ran between the line, got the ball, started past Courtois between the legs again, which is his weakness, and for the goal. But Casemiro's goal was fantastic, and Real Madrid was just too much. Again, the first defeat by um, Atletico um, this season in their new stadium. So kudos to Real Madrid. The other game was Barcelona uh, against Atletico Bilbao. And Atletico Bilbao, uh, as a team we know, is, is solid in defense. Um, Barcelona went there with all the firepower, except for Dembele was injured, with Messi and everyone. And they drew blanks. Uh, it was nil-nil, and Barcelona dropped points. And right now, even though they're six points ahead, six or five points ahead of uh, Real Madrid in second place, they have a very tough run. Uh, they have two La Ligas coming up. They have Sevilla coming up in the, I think, in the uh, Copa del Rey, and they have the little match of the Champions League against Lyon. And Lyon, the French team, are not easy going at all. So that's going to be a tough one. Let's see how this shakes out. Um, without Messi, uh, Barca looks suspect, but still a team that I love, still a team that I support, and I think they'll go all the way. Let's get to the Premier League. Now, this is massive weekend for the Premier League. Uh, Pogba, Man United were absolutely phenomenal against uh, Fulham. Fulham just had no answers to Pogba, to Martial, uh, to Sanchez, and to the rest of the crew. Completely dominated uh, uh, Fulham 3-0. It could have been more than 3-0. My United are back. Uh, when Sosha took over, they were 11 points behind. Now they're in fourth place. So kudos to kudos to, to, to Man United. Fantastic going on. And then another, another controversial game, uh, Tottenham versus Leicester. Um, I don't know why Claude Puel didn't start Jamie Vardy because Leicester actually dominated that game. They created chance after chance after chance. I'm not sure why Claude Puel is starting starting uh, uh, Damari Gray as a number nine, where you have a natural killer striker in Jamie Vardy on the bench who could score all those chances that Leicester created. And Tottenham, efficient, took their chances. Ericsson took his chance. Son, best counter-attacking runner in the Premier League, in my opinion, took his chance. And there was, I believe there was a penalty also, took a chance. So kudos to Tottenham, five points uh, behind City, and they're pushing all along. The other game... Uh, which was an amazing game, was, of course, the, the, the Manchester City versus Chelsea game. You know, before this game, everyone thought that Chelsea was gonna, could win it. Um, Chelsea could, could, again, do something and, and, and catch Man City on a bad day. Um, uh, but I knew that Guardiola is not a person who likes to get beat twice in one season. And I knew that it would, if, if City come out and play like they normally play, it was going to be a good game. 6-0. Um, emphatic 6-0, six, six goals. And Sergio Aguero is perhaps the best striker in the Premier League and one of the best of all time in the Premier League. Just completely amazing. Um, Chelsea seemed to be all over the whole place. The defenders didn't seem to understand what they were doing. They were getting dragged around. They were getting pulled out of position. If they tried to press Fernandinho, the ball would get passed to, to get Gunnigan. They tried to press Gunnigan and Fernandinho. Then Laporte would fling the ball to the front. Uh, Zinchenko was awesome, fantastic, playing left back. And I noticed during the game that uh, even though Zinchenko at times could get caught out from the back, uh, Pep had instructed Sterling to always cover for him. So if, if Zinchenko was caught up front in, in the offense, uh, uh, Sterling would always cover for him coming back, which is phenomenal. And again, just absolutely. Bernardo Silva was like a terrier bulldog, 
running all around the whole place, marking uh, Azard, closing down spaces. Kevin De Bruyne with those three passes, just phenomenal. And Raheem, what can you say? You know, I said this a couple of years ago that he's probably one of the best wingers in the world. And the way he's going at 24, 25 years old, by the time he gets to 29, 27, 29, he's going to be world class under this coach. Again, an amazing game, a fantastic game. And you, Man Manchester United fans, your top four is pretty much secured. It's your turn on the 24th of February to go do the work on Liverpool at home. We're expecting you guys to do the work at Old Trafford. And again, amazing game uh, uh, over the weekend in the, in the Premier League. And we talk about this week coming up, the, the champion, it's the return of the Champions League, Europe's biggest competition. Absolutely massive games coming up this weekend, starting with tomorrow, Tuesday, Manchester United versus PSG. PSG with no Neymar, PSG with no Cavani, PSG with a half-fit, maybe recovering Verratti. It's going to be a massive game with all Man United uh, uh, players on, on fire. Lingard, Martial, Pogba, uh, 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 Rashford, you know, uh, all on fire. It's going to be a good game. Um, but I still think that PSG won't lose this game. I think that they will score an away goal, maybe one or two. And it may end up being either a 3-2 to Manchester United or a draw, a two-all draw. The other game we have looking at is the Roma versus Porto. Um, this game, Roma has been struggling in Serie A recently. Porto have been doing okay in uh, in the Portuguese league. I think Roma have, are going to win this game. Uh, they're at home, I believe, and I think they're going to win this game. The next game is Ajax versus Real Madrid. Now, if it you know when the draw was made, you know Ajax were on top of the on top of on top of the league, flying high. Frankie de Jong was doing doing well. Uh, Matthias de Ligt was doing was doing well, and Real Madrid was struggling in La Liga. Well, it looks like Real Madrid have picked up form. I expect this game to be a three-one Real Madrid win. Um, I think ever since uh, Frankie de Jong has been sold to Barcelona um, uh, and now back on loan with Ajax, it's been a tough ride for them. So I think that uh, Real Madrid is probably going to win this one. Uh, the next game is absolutely fascinating. It's, it's Tottenham Hotspur versus Borussia Dortmund. Tottenham with no Kane, no Ali. And Borussia Dortmund with no Marco Royce. But they're flying in the German League. I mean, they are absolutely flying. I watched the game uh, against Hoffenheim over the weekend. And Borussia Dortmund, I think, with three or three, three, three goals or two goals up. But they came back. But uh, Hoffenheim came back and, and drew the game 3 3. I think this game, I think Dortmund is going to win this game. Uh, uh, either two goals to one or three goals to two. And I think that Dortmund is going gonna, is gonna to win overall, uh, win the title overall. I don't think that Tottenham have enough firepower um, at this point in time to overcome Dortmund's uh, uh, firepower. It's going to be an interesting game. Interesting game. Talk about uh, Europa League. Um, there are only two major games that I'm looking forward to there to watch. The one it's about, it's, it's going to be Lazio versus Sevilla and Celtic versus Valencia. I think that uh, Sevilla are going to win this one uh, comfortably. And I think that uh, uh, Valencia will probably knock out uh, Celtic, even though Celtic under Brendan Rodgers have done pretty well so far in the Scottish Premier League. But I think that the experience of Valencia in this competition, uh, the Spanish team will also will beat uh, Celtic. Um, next week, we'll be talking about the balance of the other team. We're going to be talking about Manchester City's game against Schalke. We're going to talk about Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. We're going to talk about uh, Atleti versus Juventus. We're going to, <clears throat> and we're going to talk about Lyon versus Barcelona. So don't forget to sign in. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join us back next week. And we'll also have a special guest. An Arsenal fan will be joining me for some conversation about Arsenal. What's going on at Arsenal? What does he think about Arsenal? How are they going to perform this season? Is it best chance for Champions League in the Europa League? What are the top four chances? So stay tuned to Pitch Points. Subscribe to our fan channel. And we'll be back in a couple of days. Thank you. Talk, talk to you soon.